Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notification instantly. Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-automation.com. Today in this video, we will talk about what exactly this Chrome option in Selenium WebDriver and how to use it. Okay, so let's get started. So we'll divide this video into three parts. What exactly is Chrome Options? Why it was not there previously in the previous version of Selenium? Why it is required and how to use and where to use Chrome Options? Now, if you are working with the latest version of Selenium WebDriver, which is 3.12 right now, then you must have seen a new class option called Chrome Options. Okay, so we'll discuss on this. So first of all, Chrome Options is a separate class in Selenium WebDriver, which help you to manage the options, which is uh, only for Chrome driver. So when I say manage uh, options, it means if you want to change certain settings or you want to change certain capabilities of your browser, you can easily change using Chrome options. So internally, if you ask uh, Chrome driver will extend another class called mutable, mutable capabilities, which I will show you in a few minutes. And it got added after 3.6.0. So if a version of uh, using previous version of Selenium, then you might not find this class. But if you use the latest version, which is 3.12.0, you will use, you can use this. And you can also use desired capability with merge method. So previously this merge method was not available and this desired capability class is deprecated now in the latest version. But still, if you want to use desired capability, then yes, you can use with merge method. Okay. So why it is required, as I said, if you want to make certain changes to your browsers, settings or if you want to set certain uh, capabilities or profiles you can easily do using chrome options it has certain methods which is uh, already they have created multiple methods but still if you have certain settings which you want to set you can do that using chrome options okay i will show you all the options how to how you will get all the options which methods you can use for what purposes so it's a separate class. So first thing you need to start is you need to create object of Chrome options. And once you create object, then you can use all these methods. Okay. So it has some default method like add new extension whenever you want, you want to start your Chrome browser with some plugins. Okay. Because by default, when you start Chrome driver, you will not find any um, history, cookies, even extensions. But if you want to load your profile, your Chrome driver with certain extension you can do using add extension. You need to give the file of that extension which you want to upload. In Chrome, every extension which you use has the extension .crx. So once you download this, you can use this to load with your browser. It's sometimes your binary doesn't load with your Chrome browser. So uh, if you are getting some exception related to binary, then you can set the binary path using set binary method. If you have worked on SSL uh, certificate, untrusted certificate, and if you want to accept that certificates, you can also call this method set accept insecure certificates to true. You can also add a couple of arguments which are not uh, coming as a method. But if you have these methods uh, or this, uh, I will say arguments, you can directly pass the argument and it will be applicable to your Chrome browser. For example, uh, we get the info bar right when you start the chrome driver if you want to disable that just you need to pass disable info bar and that info bar will not come i will show you through code directly in a similar way if you want to start a headless uh, your browser in headless mode you just have to pass hyphen hyphen headless for headless browser i already have uh, videos but how to work chrome driver in a headless mode i will be uploading a video soon so you can check that out and this is another option when you have desired capabilities and you want to use with Chrome options, then we have to use this merge method. Okay. So let me show you one by one. It's my fresh project. So let me start with package. Okay, so I'm creating a fresh package. And let me create a separate class. This class I will give uh, Chrome options demo it's up to you do you want to take public static void main or test ng okay so let me quickly set the chrome driver system dot set property okay 
okay web driver dot chrome dot driver and i will set the path i already have path in my one of the text file so i will go and paste it then i have to start the chrome driver so i will say web driver driver equal to new chrome driver just a minute okay okay now when you start this chrome driver press control space you can see you have a couple of options right so you can see now this particular method which was the capability this is deprecated now you can see a separate symbol right so previously we used to pass the capabilities directly but if you are using the new version of uh, selenium which is 3.12 which i am using right now you can see it's deprecated you can also see this chrome driver with service capabilities also deprecated so we'll use this uh, chrome option one okay so we'll use this fourth one so how to use this first of all as i said you need to start the chrome driver or uh, sorry chrome options create object of this so i will create a op, uh, object of chrome options okay now see the if you put dot operator you can see all the methods they have already added okay so you can see here uh, we can add the extension we can add uh, arguments we can also set this platform version and everything which generally we use for selenium grid right and you can also see we can add capabilities directly using chrome options okay but i will also show you if you have separate object of desired capability then how to use in that case we need to use this merge method but for the time being let's add one uh, extension and uh, this extension path we need to provide so this is one uh, alexa plugin which uh, i want to add in my session okay so driver dot get i will be opening a simple url because that doesn't matter which url <coughs> you are loading our main intention of our browser should start with an extension. So right click, run as in your application. And you can see our Chrome is started with this Alexa plugin. Right? You can directly start it using it. So this is just one example. If you have any example, like any extension which you want to add, just pass that um, plugin here or extension and it will start and if you don't want to use it just remove these options and you will see it will come as a default profile right no plugin install so this is one option let's say when you start your session you can see this chrome is being controlled by automated test software this is called the info bar and it's, let's say if you want don't want this info bar okay so now let's say you want to uh, set one argument okay so let's say one argument which you want to add and this argument is nothing but the uh, disable info bar so when you start your chrome browser you will see an info bar coming like chrome is being controlled by this particular software so if you want to disable that you can add one argument called disable info bar okay so let's add that as well hyphen hyphen disable hyphen info bars okay it's info bars so what it will do it will disable that info bar and you will not see that option anymore so you can see here now that option is not coming Okay, it will load as a normal browser so there are so many arguments which you can pass okay so i have a list here which you can use so you can see this is a list of uh, arguments right now it is only for chrome in the same way i will share for gecko driver and other browsers you can see the huge list which you can pass to your web browser in case if you want to change certain settings see so if just want to check so just search info bars 
this is for the info bar okay so if you have time go through it i guess all are not required but still if you look certain uh, like most useful one that's more than enough okay so uh, in the same way you can pass also this headless mode in case if you want to start your chrome browser in headless mode and uh, let's say one more time if i want to accept the ssl certificates options dot set okay you can also see they have a separate method at all set headless equal to true it will start your test in headless mode but uh, let's see use this set accept insecure certificate true now in case if you have certain sites which does not have secure certificate still it will run okay this is one example of chrome options in the same way if you want to go with uh, desired capabilities then what you need to do first you need to continue with your desired capabilities okay now let's say i have a desired capabilities uh, desired capabilities cap equal to new desired capabilities and if i say cap dot set let's say uh, i want to set this insecure certificate from the desired capability i don't want to pass through it so I have few options which I have in the desired capability, few options which I have in the Chrome options. Now if I pass directly this cap, it will not accept because this got uh, deprecated. <coughs> so what Selenium guys says, this is you can use options class object and call one method called merge and pass the capabilities which you created. So this is the capability we are merging with the Chrome options and finally we can pass it. So same uh, same uh, funder will be applicable for Firefox and iBrowser as well. Okay, so you can use this Chrome option is a very fantastic class, very like a useful class in order to make the changes to your uh, existing browser session. Even you can change the download directory, you can disable the cookies, disable JavaScript. You can play with this class and you can change everything in the Chrome browser only for that particular session. Okay. So this is what we have done and these are some of the links. Okay, so this is the official documentation. So mutable capabilities. So internally if you see uh, Chrome options, Edge options, Firefox options, Internet Explorer options, all these classes which we will use internally extend this mutable capabilities class. And this mutable uh, capability have all these methods. Okay. Apart from this, this list I already shared, is same if you want to explore with Internet Explorer options. So this is the link in case if you want to see what exactly each argument and uh, description you can go through it. <coughs> For Gecko driver also I will share a link. So you can use the same for Firefox options as well. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. Please like, share, subscribe to my channel and share with your friends as well. And if you still have any doubt, then feel free to contact me or to my email which is mukeshotwani at learn-automation.com and we'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.